Good day, ladies and gentlemen. The news at Commodity TV. RIPATCH announced initial results from McClelland Labs in Reno, Nevada, for the Phase 2 Feasibility Level Metallurgical Test Program for RIPATCH's 100% owned Lincoln Hill project in Nevada. Final positive results have been received for the 18 bottle roll tests. Specific gravity, work index, and abrasion studies were also completed. Acid based accounting studies and column tests are in progress with results pending. A total of six composites at three different feed sizes were analyzed and results indicate that gold and silver recoveries are size dependent. The results suggest that Rochester-like gold and silver recoveries are achievable with a crushing circuit. Gold recoveries for the larger sized material can be improved through increased leach time and additional work in phase 3 will be completed to identify the optimum heap leach feed size. Caledonia Mining announced its operating and financial results for the fourth quarter and year ended per 31st December 2015. Following the implementation of indigenization in September 2012, Caledonia owns 49% of the blanket mine in Zimbabwe and continues to consolidate blanket. The company produced in the fourth quarter 2015 over 11,500 ounces gold and for the whole year 42,804 ounces gold, which was a bit higher than expected. The direct cash costs were at 701 US dollar per ounce gold and the AISC stood at 1038 US dollar per ounce gold for the whole year and should go lower during 2016. The net profit was close to 4.8 million dollars which is equal to 8.1 cents per share. Despite the low gold prices achieved, Caledonia has a nice operational margin and paid in addition 6 Canadian cents dividend, which gives the company a yield of approximately 6.5% per annum. The higher gold prices today in conjunction with a further rising production and falling costs shall provide Caledonia with even better results in 2016. By the way, the company pays the dividend also this year. Fission Uranium announced results from the Four Holds and its PLS property host to the Triple R deposit in Canada's Athabasca Basin region. Two holds drilled on the R840W zone, one drilled on the R780E zone and one on the R1620E zone. Of key importance is hole PLS 16479, a 45 meter step out to the west of the fast growing shallow and high grade ar 840 W zone has hit 41 meters total composite mineralization, including 4.8 meters of total composite uh, which, with uh, larger values than 10,000 counts per second. All four holes were mineralized. The mineralized trend at PLS, which includes the Triple R deposit, is one of the largest footprints in the Athabasca Basin region and has a new expanded strike length of 2.58 kilometers. Ross McElroy, President, COO and Chief Geologist for Fission commented, with yet another successful 45 meter step out, the R840 zone, W zone is growing rapidly to the west. This bodes well for the eventual sites of this high grade near surface zone as well as for the continued blue sky exploration potential of PLS and speaks volumes for the skill of our technical team. Guys, again, great news from Fission. They they are close and follow up with their great drill results and that was it from Munich. Thanks and bye bye.